Keep your eyes on the road ahead. But if you feel it lost in the night, like, sometimes I just let go. Okay to cry, just as long as you hold your head. Cause we're on our way to better. Better's ahead. Better's ahead. Good morning, RHS. I'm Jack Cullen. And I'm Macy Krayaski, and this is YTV News. Beginning Monday, all students will be attending five days of face-to-face -face learning at school. Our hybrid system is better than remote, but it will be odd to have to wake up every day next week. Amari Gardner and Aiden Juzma could talk to some people about the pros and cons of hybrid system that we are finishing up this week. Hey there, RHS. Today we're going to be interviewing a variety of students and staff members on their opinion of the hybrid learning and how it affected their school year. What is your opinion of hybrid learning? Uh, I really like it. The way that we have the hybrid between going to school on two days, you know, you have a day straight after to, you know, have a full day to make up missing work. When have you realized hybrid learning was or wasn't for you? Um, I think it was, like, it's a good thing for me because um, I do like the days that um, I do go in school because I see a lot of people that I normally didn't see because um, of the pandemic and stuff. Have your grades went up or down? They have went up ever since um, semester one, but um, I think I've been doing a lot better since then. Oh, they went up for sure. What is your opinion on hybrid learning? Um, I think it's just like a harder way to keep up with your work. Uh, well, it's, it's better than remote, I'll say that. I mean, anytime we can get some kids in here, it's good. We need everyone back. Well, the hybrid thing kind of messes up gym classes. We're, we're used to being able to have big groups, so then we or organize uh, different team activities. It makes it a lot easier. Well, um, the majority of our projects are done on the computer. Um, we do computer aid design and drafting. Um, and the programs that we use actually are not able to be used on the Chromebooks, so that was a big challenge for us. We actually had to use alternative software. Um, that was our first thing that sort of changed. Um, the second thing was that all of our sort of hands-on learning was eliminated from the program. I want to be here. I mean, obviously, at home, I'm safe. I, I get it. Um, um, and I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I had COVID in July. I know how it is. And I'm, I still haven't seen my mom. It's been a year. Um, but I know for a fact we're better off as a uh, community if we all come to school. So hopefully uh, we get that done. I think that I was absolutely more comfortable being here. Um, being with the kids, obviously, there's no comparison between me being here and being at home. So that was their opinion. What is yours? Scheduling for the 2021-2022 school year has begun. It must be completed online. A video is available if you need help. Don't forget to complete your schedule by March 12th. If you're looking for an idea for a class to take, newspaper might be a good option for you. Hey RHS, are you interested in joining the newspaper? What does the newspaper do? The newspaper produces a monthly publication for all of our students and staff to read. Why did you join the newspaper? I joined the newspaper because my freshman year Mrs. Blake suggested that I join it and she said that I would be really good at it and I had potential and she was right. Why do you stay in the newspaper? I stay in newspaper because I like to be in a classroom that's not as traditional as others. It gives us more of a college feeling with our deadlines. And then I love my classmates, and I like to produce an informative paper. What do you want people to know about newspaper? I want students to know that newspaper counts as your English 12 credit. So if you take newspaper your senior year, you do not have to take an English 12 class. Describe <laughs> a typical week in newspaper class. So in newspaper, we plan our own time. So like some days we'll be writing our articles and interviewing sources, and other days we will just be talking to each other and having a good time. What is the best part of newspaper? To me, the best part of newspaper is being able to write the things that I want to talk about and spread awareness about those topics, and then have people like produce it to an audience so that people can enjoy it. When we are not in COVID, how does the newspaper function? So... On normal years, when there's not, like, the COVID happening, we would um, go to classrooms once a, once a month, and we would sell our newspapers for 50 cents to each class during the morning, and then we would also sell at lunches. If you're interested in joining Emily and her team, you can go to rhsbears.com and click on Apply to Join. 
Sophomores, juniors, and seniors can apply at rhsbears.com. The application is brief. And remember, seniors, you can earn English 12 credit for the course. Did you know that there are gel pens, ballpoint pens, and pencils available for sale in the LMC for only 50 cents? Next time you forget your pen or pencil, stop in to support DECA. Another big deal for DECA this year has just come out. So far this year, due to obvious reasons, RHS DECA has only been able to do their retail store in Wyandotte Tees. The group had to be innovative this year and held two pop-up shops in downtown Wyandotte, as well as launching a new Square website in order to reach customers. The RHS chapter worked hard to meet DECA's national standards to keep our store certified this year. Congratulations goes to juniors Reese Blackledge and Jake Cons for handling this project and making Wyandotte Tees one of only 246 stores across the United States that met the certification this year. In a normal year, these two students would have advanced to the International Career Development Conference in Anaheim, California. This year, the conference will be held virtually. Don't forget about an amazing opportunity available to RHS students. GeoAddicts will be traveling to Spain, France, and Italy for next year's spring break. If you are interested in seeing the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Roman Colosseum, and more, talk to Mr. Souls, Ms. Merrifield, Mr. Wymore, or Mrs. Stiles for more information. Fundraising and scholarships can help cover the cost of the trip. Remember to follow all safety guidelines. It will be even more important as we return to a full building next week. Wash your hands and use hand sanitizer on a regular basis. Wear your mask, wear your mask properly. Stay on the correct side of the hallway. Help keep, help keep RHS safe. Now here's Bella with sports. Why not boys varsity bowling took a win? over Allen Park then beat Edsville on Tuesday. The boys are now 3-3 three and three for the season. Girls varsity bowling beat Allen Park and Edsville as well. They are now 4-1-1. One, and one. Junior varsity bowling beat Allen Park by forfeit. Wyandotte JV is now 4-1 and one for the season. Hockey lost 3-0 to zero to Lake Orion. The team is still struggling to get their first one of the season. Boys basketball lost to Lincoln Park 34-27. The team was led by performances by Delonte Wyatt and Jonah Sadler. The team plays Woodhaven on Friday. Girls basketball lost to Lincoln Park in a one-point in intense battle, 32 to 31. JV beat Lincoln Park by about 20 points. Macy Murdoch led the team on all ends of the floor. The freshman girls lost to Fordson. Boys swim beat Woodhaven on Tuesday. That's all for sports. Now back to you, Jack. Thanks, Bella. Attention seniors, once you have made your decision on which college you will be attending in the fall, please email Mrs. Doyle in the counseling office so a final transcript can be sent to that school upon graduation. Thank you. It is the last week of February and Black History Month. We will, be con we will continue our Black History Month tribute with a closer look at another historical figure. Hi, I'm Elvis Valverde with WITV News. February is Black History Month and we would like to highlight some influential people that you may not have heard of. Bessie Coleman was the first African-American pilot. Bessie was told by many people she couldn't make it. Once she was finally accepted into a school in France, she finally succeeded in getting her pilot license on June 15, 1921. She was famous for her loop-to-loops. Touring around the country and training others was a life-changing experience for Coleman. But two years to her flying career, she passed away from a test plane crash, leaving thousands of people devastated. Today, she is well known for encouraging African-American women to follow her dreams and fly the way she did. An aviator club was established in remembrance of the powerful woman leader, Bessie Coleman. Throughout Black History Month, we take the time to look over and remember the people who made a difference in our world. Remember this year's theme for Black History Month is Black Family, Representation, Identity, and Diversity. Take time this month to learn something new. Happy birthday to all of those with birthdays in the next three days. As Black History Month comes to an end, take a moment to reflect on all the amazing contributions black Americans have made to our country. As Jack Robinson said, a life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. Hey Jack, how did the barber win the race? I don't know. How? Huh? He knew a shortcut. Ah! <laughs> Have a great day, RHS. Remember, wash those hands and wear your mask. See you next week for our start of full day in person learning five days a week.
<laughs> hey Jack, how did the barber win the race? I don't know how. <laughs> 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 uh, from the shop. <laughs> <laughs>